Good day everyone! Our lesson for today is all about translating mathematical expression into verbal praise. So before we proceed to our topic, let's discuss one by one uh, each keywords for our operation. So let's start with addition. So ito po yung symbol ng addition. Ayan, pag may na-encounter po kayong ganyang symbol, so addition po yan. So ito yung mga keywords natin for addition. So sum, plus, total, and together, added to, more than, increased by. Okay, next, we have the subtraction. So, ito po yung symbol ni subtraction. Ito yung kanyang mga keywords. Minus, reduce, difference, less, decrease by, less than, subtract from, diminish by. Okay, proceed to, let's proceed to multiplication. So, ito naman po yung symbol ni multiplication. So, product, times, twice, per, of multiplied by. So, yan po yung kanyang mga keywords. Next, we have the division. So, ito yung kanyang symbols. So, ito yung keywords na ating gagamitin, na pwede natin gamitin sa kanya. So, ratio, quotient, average, over, into, divided by. Okay, we have, so, let's proceed to exponent. So, ito yung exponent. So, pang may na-encounter ka yung ganitong symbol, it indicates exponents. So, ito yung kanyang mga keywords. Cube of, power, square of, raise to. And, so, ayan po, uh, naisa-isa na natin yung mga keywords or words na pwede natin gamitin kapag may na-encounter tayong mga symbols na nagre-represent ng mga operations. So, let's have number 1. Ayan, so ito yung number 1. So, si number 1, pwede natin siyang i-translate as x plus 3, 3 more than a number x, x increased by 3, the sum of 7, uh, the sum of x and 3, 3 added to x, the total of x and 3. So, ayan. So, dahil ang symbol natin ay cross, so, Gamit, gamit, gumamit tayo ng mga keywords for addition. Okay, next, let's have number 2. So, ang symbol po natin ay hyphen or dash. So, it indicates subtraction. So, pwede po natin siyang i-translate as x minus 3, x diminished by 3, 3 less than x, the difference between x and 3, 3 subtracted from x, x decreased by 3, or pwede rin natin siya isulat as x less 3. Ayan, so may mga keywords tayo for subtraction, so pwede tayong gumamit ng alinman sa mga yun. Basta, nag-represent uh, po siya ng subtraction. So, let's have number 3. So, si number 3, so kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong number, tsaka Meron tayong constant at variable. So, magkadikit sila. So, wala tayong nakitang symbol dyan. Pero, uh, magkadikit yung dalawang given natin. So, it indicates multiplication. So, ano ba yung mga keywords natin sa multiplication? Diba? Product times twice per of multiplied by. So, sa so, number 3, pwede natin siyang isulat as the product of 9 and x x multiplied by 9 o kaya naman 9 times x ayan so let's have number 4 so si number 4 hindi tayo gumamit ng obelus ang ginamit natin dito ay horizontal line so pag horizontal line so it indicates division so may mga keywords tayo for division na pwede natin gamitin para may translate natin tong expression na to into verbal praise so, pwede natin siyang isulat as the quotient of x and 10, x divided by 10, the ratio of x to 10, or x over 10. Ayan. So, sa so number 5 naman, so may napapansin kayo, meron tayong maliit na numbers sa taas. So, it indicates exponent. And since sa ating exponent dito ay 2, 
So, ang keyword na gagamitin natin ay square. Or, you can use raise or power. So, isusulat natin siya as square of x. x raised to 2. O kaya naman, x to the power of 2. Ayan. So, mga simple lang yung number natin. Pra, uh, yung ating expression from 1 to 5. So, ngayon, pagsamasamahin natin yung mga operations sa isang expression. So, let's have number 6. Ayan. So, si number 6, meron tayong nakita ang parenthesis. Meron tayong nakita ang symbol na plus or cross. So, it indicates an addition and multiplication. So, pwede natin siyang i-translate as 5 times the sum of x and 8. Ayan. So, pwede kayong gumamit na iba pang words to uh, represent or para ma-describe natin yung operations. So, let's have number 7. So, sa number 7, meron tayong fraction. So, may division dyan. Meron tayong exponent. Meron tayong pinag-dikit uh, na number or fraction at variable. So, may ano tayo dyan? Uh, multiplication. At meron tayong hyphen or dash na symbol which indicates subtraction. So, pwede nating i-translate si number 7 as 6 less than 1 half the square of M. Ayan. Okay, number 8. So, si number 8, ayan ulit, constant tsaka variable, magkadikit, at napapalob sila sa isang parenthesis, at may number tayong nakikita sa labas nila, which is indicates ng exponent. So, dahil magkadikit yung dalawang given natin, yung nating constant at variable, so, meron tayong multiplication dyan. So, dalawang operation yan. So, exponent tsaka multiplication. So, pwede natin siyang i-translate as square of trice x. Okay, let's have number 9. So, sa number 9, meron tayong cross na symbol at meron ulit tayong magkadikit na number at letter. So, it indicates addition and multiplication. So, we can translate it as 10 added to twice x. Okay, number 10. So, yun ulit. May magkadikit, may horizontal line, at may cross na sign. So, meron tayo dyan multiplication, division, at addition. So, we can translate it as twice uh, a divided by 3 plus tries B. Ayan. So, ganun lang po kadaling mag-translate ng isang expression into verbal praise. So, kailangan alam nyo lang yung mga words na pwede natin, na pwedeng mag-represent sa ating mga operation. So, kahit ano po pwede. Basta, nindescribe nyo yung ating operations. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa akin sa araw na ito. Yun lang. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!